To be sure you never miss a Tech Ninja video, tap on the bell icon right next to subscribe. YouTube, what's going on? This is Kevin the Tech Ninja, and today we're taking a look at a robotic vacuum cleaner that is quickly becoming a household name. You can find it at dozens of brick and mortar stores and obviously online. And it doesn't break the bank as it provides features seen on robot vacuum cleaners that are more than double its price. This is the d 900 by Ecovax, and let's take a look. So this is obviously not the first robot vacuum cleaner on the market, and it's definitely not the first one on my channel. This is a market that has blown up lately for good reason. Robot vacuum cleaners overall just save so much time, and it leaves you with a better looking house. But the problem is a lot of them are way out of most people's budget. Or they're made so cheaply that you find yourself having to sweep after it and negating the fact that you just bought one of these things in the first place. It's not so cheap where it's made poorly, but it's also not overpriced where it's no longer a value. Ecovax has reached out to me as a person who's used ton of these robot vacuum cleaners to tell you my thoughts. However, all opinions are based on my personal testing and I'm not using any information they're giving me, I'm using it as a consumer. As I said, you can pick up the D-Bot 900 at many brick and mortar stores, including Kohl's, Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, and so forth. Also, you can grab it online. The setup process doesn't take too much time and it comes with everything you need in the box. It has two sets of removable brushes, a cleaning pick and brush, and also a filter. All of these parts will be something that you'll eventually need to replace, and you can do all that stuff within the application and check status, and I'll talk about that a little bit later in this video. The robot looks pretty cool. It has a white matte design and black accent colors around it. Also, there's a D-Bot logo on top on this little circular part. I assume that's where the sensor scans your room. However, I'm not entirely too sure. On top, we also have a power button, which doubles as the auto clean functionality. There's also a Wi-Fi indicator, so you know if you're connected or not. There's an app that you install for Android or iOS. All you need to do is make a free account and you're up and running. Any firmware updates or notifications will feed through this application. And when I turned mine on, I did have a firmware update, but it was optional. The update took a little over five minutes for it to run all the way through and do a reboot cycle. And after that, I was up and running. Now, once you're in the application, you notice a very clean interface. It's not cluttered with a lot of stuff. What you can see is this little blue dot, and this is actually your robot location. But when you first use it, the location is going to look blank because it didn't do a scan of the room just yet. Also on the screen, you have your different cleaning modes and also settings, which we can dive into later. This app also allows you to use it remotely. So on your way home, or if you're at work and forgot to run it, you can just do it right from your phone. It will run its full cleaning and then it'll let you know when it's done. To me, the vacuum intelligent mapping system is really impressive and it rivals to what you see on the higher end Roombas, but it's actually less than half the price. Without it sounding weird, it knows your house. It uses its sensors to scan the house and it does like sort of a sketch of your room before it starts cleaning. And then it fills in the blank spaces as it makes its way around your room. While it's going, you can follow the progress of the blue dot. It's kind of this fun way to see where it's cleaned at a glance. You can just look at the app and see that half the room has this white marking, means half the room is actually clean. Now, once it's complete its first pass through, it unlocks a few more options. One option gives you the ability to draw a clean zone. You can draw a box around the area that you want it to clean. So if you have an area that needs a quick clean, just draw a box around it and let it do its thing. It's very nice to quickly clean off just a specific area. I found myself using it around the front door as that spot obviously becomes a little bit more dirty, but if you have pets or anything, you may want to put it in the pet area to let it get all the pet hair up. You can also do an area clean where it breaks down your rooms into separate areas. So if you have an open plan, you can select the kitchen or living room or whatever other room is in that area and it'll just clean that one specific room and then head back to the base. During the clean, it's using its sensors and body to find its way around the room. Now, some robot vacuum cleaners use this bump and fill technique, but what makes the D-Bot different is that it sees the walls 
and it will nestle up next to a wall, but it's not banging its way around your kitchen to kind of figure out where to go. Now, if you do have items in the way, it will go around the item and continue its path. Some robot vacuum cleaners, once it sees an item, it bumps around it and sort of makes its own path. The D-Bot will actually get back on the same path, so you have a smooth line around the object. Also, if you have continued cleaning on, when the battery gets low, it will charge itself back up automatically and then head back out to finish its cleaning job. I did find overall that the battery life is good, just charging said battery does take longer than I would like. There's a high powered mode and a regular powered mode when cleaning, and I found myself switching to high powered on carpet, but regular mode on hardwood. I found the dual brush design and suction inlet was pretty solid when picking up small and larger items. I used hair, cereal, and things like that. Now obviously it's not gonna pick up a golf ball or anything like that, but anything you could pick up with a regular vacuum within reason, the robot vacuum cleaners would do a good job at that too. The dual brush system is actually really cool. A lot of the robot vacuum cleaners, they do the one brush system where it brushes it into the suction cup. The D-Bot actually has two at the same time. And what I found was it was actually able to get in corners better and it also had a wider range of items to pick up. It looks like it was sort of sweeping things in sucking it up versus just slapping it around sometimes. I found with the one brush system, a lot of times it would sort of slap it towards the front but not get all the way in. With the two brush system, sometimes it will slap it to the right, to the left, but it will always find a way to get it underneath the suction cup and put it right in its bin. The app has a few settings that lets you customize your experience a bit. You can adjust the vacuum power as I just mentioned. You can set up schedules so it cleans when you're at home or right before dinner. And there's also a cleaning log allowing you to go back in and see what was clean and how long it took. There's also a continue cleaning function which automatically resumes your cleaning after a charge or if there was an interruption. It's also a do not disturb mode so the lights and voice no longer activate as long as this is turned on voice reports, and also the consumable usage. The consumable usage is how you see the status of your brushes and filters. It gives you a nice percentage and an estimate on how many hours are left. And also you can purchase these items directly from the app too. Now during this video, you may have been wondering, what am I missing compared to a robot vac that is around $1,000? Well, there isn't much. If you compare it directly to the Roomba 980, that retails for $900, you'll quickly see that there isn't many differences. You're paying for the name brand, and that goes with the consumables as well. The rollers cost a bit more, and so do the brushes. Now, as far as suction power, the Roomba and D-Bot, to me, were pretty neck and neck. Now, the Roomba is bigger, and it does have a bigger trash bin, but that also makes it much louder. The Roomba bumps around the room, even with the camera system. It looks a little bit sloppy, but overall, you get really straight lines as the D-Bot takes a bit more time to learn the room before going, which makes it a more methodical approach, but at the same time, it gets in the corners very well and it just looks a lot cleaner. Also, they both have an application that works remotely and they're both compatible with smart homes, so Google Home and Amazon Echo. So from there, I guess the question to you is, are the differences worth the extra money? I'd rather have the two D-Bot 900s versus one Roomba 980. Overall, for $400, there's a lot to be said about the D-Bot 900. Although it's not perfect, there is no perfect product out there, but when it compares to products that are double the price and even a little bit more, that's when you know you found yourself a good product. As I said, you could pick it up from stores right now. You can go to Kohl's, you can go to Bed Bath Beyond, Target, or you can pick it up online from my link down below. As always guys, my name is Kevin the Tech Ninja. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed smart home videos, hit that like button and also hit a subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. KTTN, say it again. Tell a friend to tell a friend that it's him and your real talk opinions gonna be sharper than 4K scope squad. Eat it up, sim it and saute. Ninja got reviews and brands galore. You ain't never seen a channel like this before.